Hi everybody, it's Jojo, and I'm here to do a mukbang, a light, little lunch mukbang. I have never done a mukbang for lunchtime, so I was like, let me do it, girl. Honey. So yeah, so it's a little warm today. <laughs> it's a little warm today. Um, it's actually, I really, it's beautiful out. It's like late spring and it's only middle of March. St. Patrick's Day is a couple days. I am going to film the St. Patrick's Day mukbang. I have a lot to talk about in this mukbang, girl. Let me just turn this. Hold on. Sorry. Had to do that. Okay. Let me put my hair up. Girl, because you know how I do with these mukbangs. Have myself a little drink. And then we'll get started. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I have on my plate. So, um, first things first. The drink, I have this Caribbean Cooler, it's Caribbean Sunset. It's my favorite drink in the world. I love this. This is my favorite. It's from um, to Tropicana. And then I put that with ice, a couple of slices of oranges, and a um, couple of slices of pineapple, and I put it in a cup with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Middle Straw. Just that fruit when it marinates in the juice. It's just so good. Of course, this is good with liquor too, but I like to have mine um, virgin. Okay, now what's on my plate? So, I went to the supermarket or the deli and I got a few different pastas. I got um, one with spinach and feta cheese, one with um, tomatoes, peppers, and whatnot, and then I have a, a potato salad, and then I put some olives um, over here. So I'm gonna have some, and I may get some crackers too, actually, while I'm at it. Yeah. <coughs> okay, excuse me. Rosemary crackers, I might have these too with the, um, with the olives and stuff. So you guys doing, okay, so I have something to tell you guys, girl. Oh, it's not a rosemary, Jesus. Some crackers around that. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, how? Um, so. I was washing um, the dishes the other day and the glass broke in my hand, the glass I was washing and it broke in my hand. I stabbed myself in the, in the, in the hand, gushing blood. I was bleeding all day, I managed to go to the hospital. They put like a tape stitch on it. They couldn't really stitch it because, of, um, because there was no skin left. It was really just a punctured wound. Like I literally got stabbed. And so, when I first got into it, they were like, oh, we need an x-ray, we can't even look at you. That was what they first told me. And I said, no, you gotta look, at least look at it, come on, like, what the hell? And then they looked at it, and they said, okay, yeah, you don't even need an x-ray. It doesn't seem like there's no broken glass in your hand. So they put the band-aid on, whatever. Went about my day. We're back home. And... And then it started bleeding again, gushing from the band-aid. And I was like, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? Um, I was really scared because was, I was in the shower when it started bleeding again. And I was like, I had to shower because I didn't shower for a couple of days even. Like, I needed to shower. And it was just, it was really, really gushing a lot of blood. It was bleeding everywhere. It looked like a murder scene. It was really scary. Eventually the blood did stop. I put a fresh band-aid on it, and right now, look, I'm not even going to open it because I'm not going to show you, but there was so much blood. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I have these pastas. They're very refreshing. Perfect for lunch in spring. I love it. This is my go-to lunch, you know? Potato salad, macaroni salads, olives, crackers. 
I normally have this or a salad or um a soup. So I normally have for lunch. What are you guys eating for lunch? I'm gonna try to upload this during lunchtime. So around noon. Would let me know what you guys are eating down below. A lot of people skip lunch and they go have breakfast and then go back to dinner. You have to have lunch, it's very important. And lunch foods are really good. Oh. These Jeffree Star metal straws changed my life. <clears throat> they really are. And they're perfect for the environment, I mean they're great. Mmm. I'm gonna put some of the um, spinach and feta and the cracker on the rosemary cracker. Mm hmm. It's good. So, I need to tell you about the Sip Hive Stim Mukbang. So, I'm gonna do it. The problem I have is that what I really wanted to do was a corned beef and cabbage, but I don't think I'm gonna get that. So, I just bought these cute St. Patrick's Day cupcakes at the supermarket. Excuse me. Excuse me. At the supermarket. And, um, so I'm gonna have that with the mukbang. I think, if worse comes to worse, I think I'm just going to order of Uber Eats, some, something Irish, something Irish pub or something. Or I'm gonna make like an Irish stew, like an Irish soup, and put like greens in it and just try to find something like... I also wanna do a Easter mukbang. And have like honey glazed ham, quiche, um, you know, like carrot cake, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, both of the pastas are good. The macaroni salad. I sprinkled some salt and pepper on the on this food before I you know before I did the mukbang. So I had to put some fresh seasonings on top. It's good. Oh yeah, it's really good. The fresh salt and pepper. Mmm. Very good. I have what um I was gonna do the St. Patrick's Day like breakfast too, because look what I got. I'm not gonna do it though, but look what I got. There's a new Lucky Charm cereal. Marshmallow clusters. Isn't that cute? I've never had this before. I guess the little marshmallows with all the the um uh, ma marshmallow, uh, with all the marshmallow clusters with all, like, the little colorful ma marshmallow pieces. <clears throat> if worst comes to worst, I'll just sit and have a bowl of Lucky Charms <laughs> bridge and make that my St. Patrick's <laughs> that my St. Patrick's Day book bag bridge. But no, um, I do like Lucky Charms. I never tried this one before, it's new, so... This is a delicious, delicious lunch. Let me know what you guys are having. 
Mm. I love my aloes. Aloes are good. I wonder what, like, put the potatoes on now. The potatoes are Irish too, so I could, I could actually have maybe even the potato salad, the leftovers tomorrow. So I makeup today, lipstick's off, but it was Hidden Hills Liquid Lip, the Jeffree Star with the Celebrity Skin Lip Liner, and then I put, um, Paint in Full and Beauty Glass Glosses on top of that. I'm not even going to say it by Jeffree Star, because if it's, if it's not Jeffree Star, I'll say otherwise, but just know everything I say for makeup wise is Jeffree Star. So, I have blood money on my eyes. I have, um, Secret Stash. And I dipped into a couple of the palettes. I dipped into a blue um, in Jawbreaker. Delicious, I think it's called. Mm. And I smoked it all out with the gray and blood, blood sugar. I like that gray and blood sugar. It's really nice. Perfect for blending smoky eyes. Cracker broke. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, so good. St. Patrick's Day is a couple days, so I'm obviously going to upload this before. I think I may upload this, like, tomorrow in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful day out. It definitely feels like spring. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are fresh olives. Fresh from the Italian deli. I don't like the olives in the cam, and the you know, I like them fresh. I love both pastas, but I think I like this one more than the one with the spinach. So what do you guys think of Real Housewives New Jersey? I like it so far, but I heard it's going to be another small season. It's only going to have 12 or 13 episodes. I don't know why, but whatever. <clears throat> I like the season, but... Um... I don't think that new girl was necessary. I think that's why they demoted her. Because that new graphic, I don't even know what her name is, a tall blonde. She's pretty, but I mean, I, there's really no need for her. There really isn't. She doesn't serve any purpose. I heard tonight's episode, she gets into it with Teresa a little bit, but like, there's really no purpose to her. Like, I feel like she's just there like a wallflower. So she's got to go next season, but... So Lake City just ended. I love Lisa Balo, but everyone really loves fighting with her. Like, Jesus, she really, 
She's, I don't know. I mean, people just don't like her. She's just always in the middle of the drama. But, um, what she did to Meredith was horrible. Like, come on. How's that your friend? You're gonna go on a rant. Even if you didn't know you were Mike. You know, the thing she said was, it was so, it was like insane. I asked about Meredith, I would never be loose as fun again. I wouldn't. But, um, anyways. So, yeah, I do think, I don't know, the thing, I don't know if Jen's guilty of anything because we don't know yet. We don't know anything. Like, her court date's in a couple of days. We don't know anything. The thing is, is that, why are they targeting her, though? Like, if this isn't real, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I don't understand. She's so believable when she says she didn't do anything wrong, but she had to have done something. You know what I mean? I, I do. I do think she did something. I do. Maybe it wasn't to the extent that it was, that we think, but she must have been doing something illegal, you know? I got a new bitch, Jenny. She's got a set of balls. Because she's sitting on that reunion stage and she's like, I don't understand why you, you don't, why Mary's so racist against me. She made fun of my eyes. You know, none of you stuck up for me when Mary was being racist. I don't like racist people. People are racist to me. But then she got kicked off of the show because of racist tweets she's done against black people in the past. So, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. This is, there's a show on Netflix called um, Unsolved Mur Un Unsolved Crimes or something. It's like a Netflix show. So good. Like the stories would, would make you, you, you like, it just, it, it's, it's, it's scary. It's frightening. It's, it's daunting because it's like, wow, like people get away with some crazy shit. Because oh, every episode, the reason why they're on this show is because they're, all those murders are unsolved. The case was, was closed without a conclusion. And some of the stories was just crazy. Yeah. It's so good. Like, it's such a simple, like, meal, but it's so good. Put some more of this. Mm. So good. Mm. This drink is nice and refreshing. It cooled me down, like, immediately after one sip. Mmm. I can't believe what happened to my hand. <clears throat> All that blood I lost. It was a lot of blood. 
It was a lot of blood. When I ble when I bled again after I came home from the hospital in the shower, I got really scared because I was like, what happens if this just does not stop bleeding? Because I already went to the hospital and they said it was fine. So then like they already stitched, they already bandaged it and I'm bleeding crazy again. It was really scary. We just have a couple more olives and then we'll get I'm done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have plans tonight. Um so I may not eat again until later tonight. Yeah, I was washing a glass. And it broke in my hand. It's not like I dropped it. I was washing with the sponge and it broke in my hand and the sh glass, the shutty glass stabbed me. Oh! Ow. Ow. I just hit, I just hit it. I don't know why I did that. It stabbed me so badly in the hand. I took the glass and I had to like yank it out. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. Only me. One more olive and I'll be done. Mm. So, I'm done. I mean, I got them. If you get anything from Jeffree, even if you don't wear makeup, get the metal strokes from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's so good. Girl. They're worth it. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Um... I'm going to be filming on the mukbang in a couple days with St. Patrick's Day. Again, I'm going to be doing it after the day. I'm going to be doing a mukbang. Um, and those are the next couple of videos. So after this will be that. I have an after the day I filmed a couple a few days ago that I did not upload yet. I'll probably upload that with this. Um, and then, yeah, St. Patrick's Day is in a couple of days. Um, I don't know, should I show you that? I don't think you guys can even see the... Um, the cupcakes. I'll show them to you in a couple of days. They're really pretty. They're really cute. They're like, they're, they're vanilla, but then they have like the green icing and like a little, um, St. Patrick's Day ring. It's, a, it's so cute. You're going to see it. You're going to see the St. Patrick's Day. All right. I'm going to touch up my makeup because I have plans tonight. So I have to touch up my makeup, girl. I'm going to touch up my makeup before I leave the house again. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm.